Rivers were once canoe highways throughout Maine and eastern Canada, providing food for the Wabanaki people, then lumbermen and farmers, generating electricity that powered mills and factories. Here's Michael Shaughnessy on how to fall in love with a river. The word Przumpscot means in Wabanaki, River of Many Falls. Um, there's 27 named falls on it. Most of those are submerged or blocked. It used to run flush with fish in the millions. Salmon, shad, alewife, blueback herring, sturgeon, eels. And then over time, industry took over and it ran brown with foam. The fish were stopped. You could smell it out in Casco Bay and it would peel the paint off of houses. My wife and I moved up in 1987 from Missouri. We had two small children. We didn't know anybody. And we ended up on North Gorham Pond. We were stunned by the beauty of the water. Nothing like Missouri. You could actually look through it. There's some small islands that we'd swim off of and we were struck by the waterfalls, hidden, tucked away back behind a power station. A few years later, we moved to another house, and as we went through the house, we looked out the back door, and we looked down, and we said, it looks like there's a river down there. The realtor who was showing us the house said, yeah, that's the Presumpscot. We were blown away by the fact that it wasn't on a sign. He never mentioned it. It was as if that was a detriment to the sale of having the Presumpscot behind it. In 1993, a group of us got together to oppose the development of a de-inking mill at Gambo on the Presumpscot. The town had come to us and they said, we might get a park out of it. They said, don't worry about the smokestack. We'll paint it blue. You'll never see it. That group of friends has been together for 27 years now. We didn't believe that we wouldn't be able to see the smokestack. We were against the 50,000 discharge into the river. We knew it would be a disaster for it. And so we worked to defeat that. You know. We stopped it, and subsequently over the years it became a park, soccer fields, a path, and a boat launch. After that was defeated, we decided we were going to become river advocates and continue on with us. Over those 27 years, we have been a part of the removal of one dam on the lower Presumpscot. We ended up getting five FERC licenses to demand fish passage. We enacted the first ever state ruling to have fish passage installed at Cumberland Mills in Westbrook. We ended up being contested all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court where we successfully defended a part of the Clean Water Act that gave the states rights to regulate hydro dams. And currently um, a dam complex at Sacarapa is coming out after a many, many years negotiation to put in fish passage and remove these two headwalls.